Good afternoon. We're taking a live look at the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport. A lot of fun having uh, be, to be had at the airport. We saw Jessica and Chris live there. These aren't the Hurricane Hunter planes. Those are your typical ones you fly on. But from 2 to 5, you can head on out to the airport and meet up with some of the people that risk their lives to give us vital information so that we can track hurricanes. Of course, hurricane season now just a couple of weeks away. 76 degrees at the airport right now. Again, it's a gorgeous afternoon. In a little bit, we are going to bubble up those scattered showers and thunderstorms just like yesterday, except about an hour or two later. 76 in Raleigh now, still a lot of heat to our south and west. That's what we are tapping into over the next couple of days. It's going to be warm. It is going to be on the muggier side. We're certainly seeing that out there today. 65 degree dew points in South Boston, Danville, 61 now in Roanoke, a little bit more comfortable into the highlands. But nonetheless, we were talking about this, that on Wednesday today, we would see the return of some of that humidity again back into that muggy borderline uncomfortable category. At least we are working our way into that. It's going to get a little better tomorrow, but nonetheless, you'll notice the humidity factor staying elevated. Starting to see a couple showers trying to get going right in the southern Blue Ridge now into the higher elevations of Patrick County. These are going to continue to become more numerous as we move forward into the afternoon and evening. So if you're going to the ball game tonight in Salem, we are going to be dodging that threat for scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially again throughout the entirety of the game. Last night it was just early on, but again, that threat going to be with us for a few rogue thunderstorms throughout the course of the evening. Again, those rain chances hold at about 20 to 30 percent through the rest of the afternoon. You see there they're hanging around 30 percent tonight. So these ones are going to last a little bit longer when compared to yesterday. Things going to be back unsettled again tomorrow and into Friday, especially there's Thursday afternoon. A stray shower or storm likely. I do think tomorrow afternoon going to be one of the drier days as we close out the work week. Cold front comes in from the west. There's two o'clock on Friday. You see the green representing the rain again, and this is what keeps things unsettled, kind of parking itself over our region. Seven o'clock on Saturday morning. I think we are on the drier side to start the day. And then we have another system coming in, at least riding that cold front as we move into the second part of Saturday. And the same deal happens on Sunday again. I don't think it's a total loss, but there will be a lot of wet periods, if you will, as we move forward into Mother's Day weekend. Tonight, we're going to be on the muggy side. Overnight lows falling back into the lower 60s, around 80 on Thursday and Friday. Again, I think tomorrow, just a little on the cloudy side, there will be a stray storm out there. Not as widespread, though, as what we'll see this afternoon, hanging around 80 on Friday. That's when that cold front comes through, and then that cold front going to be visiting mom for the weekend and keeping rain showers around both Saturday and Sunday. We were talking about the Hurricane Hunter planes. There are a couple of them. One we saw there was Kermit. Kermit, yeah, they're named Kermit and Miss Piggy. So cool names, at least the NOAA ones are. The Air Force ones just that big behemoth C-130, which yeah. is crazy, crazy It's a cool. beast. It is huge. Needed to be big when you're flying in a crazy storm like that. Absolutely. Uh, we've got consumer news coming your way next. Stay with us.